Hello everybody. Today's uh, math warm-up is an Esta mystery where estimation meets math mysteries. Today's is length of ribbon and these come to us from Steve Wyberney and his website. He has some really cool math activities that we may use. Um, I want you to go and get a piece of paper and a pencil or just something or maybe a whiteboard and a marker if you have one something to write on so that you can write down your estimations and show your work and then afterwards you can share it with your teacher either on maybe a Flipgrid video or or uh, just take a picture and send it to her um, but your teacher wants to see your thinking and see how you're doing okay and maybe share it with your friends Okay, so let's get started with today's warm up. When straightened, how many inches long is the ribbon? Here's a piece of measuring tape showing us inches. How many inches long do you think this ribbon is if we straighten it out? Write that down. And as the clues appear, use the information to narrow the possibilities to a smaller set. After each clue, use estimation again to determine which of the remaining answers is the most reasonable. Write down your first estimate, if you haven't done so already. And after each clue, you'll see if your estimate is still a possibility. After each clue, if it is no longer possible, write down a new estimate and be prepared to explain why you chose it. So clue number one. The answer is between 25 and 40. So it means the length of this ribbon is greater than 25 inches, but less than 40 inches. Make a change if you need to. Clue number two. Cross out the missing numbers. 18, 21, 24, da 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 you may want to pause here and take a look at that. You want to complete, what you want to do is complete this pattern until you get to about here. And then these numbers that would have gone in the blank are not the answer. So pause the video here and do that work so that you know what to get rid of as your answer possibilities. Clue number three. The answer is an even number. So it's between 25 and 40. It's not one of these, and it's even. Clue number four. The answer does not include the digit eight. So there's not an eight in that number. Clue number five. The answer is not equal to the number of cents made by two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. So in a minute, you probably want to pause it and figure that out. What is the value of two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies? That is not the answer to this problem. Okay, after seeing the clues, you now have, you have narrowed the possibilities to a small set of numbers. And before you see the answer, select your final estimate, write it down, and explain to someone why you chose that number. Again, either on a piece of paper, taking a picture and showing it to your teacher, or maybe your teacher has set up a flip grid or something for you to record yourself. All right, the reveal. Arr, ding! 26 inches. This ribbon is 26 inches long. I hope you enjoyed our activity this morning and let's keep going with our math today. Have a great day, guys.